Greetings, I'm Jason DeFalco, Superintendent of Schools in BMRSD, and thanks for joining us today. As we all know, we are in a full remote learning phase uh, for the next couple of weeks until Monday, January 11th. We are hoping that this short transition will allow us to get our cases under control and decrease the spread so that we can all return on January 11th happy, healthy, and ready to learn. To assist with this, you may recall that we were selected by the Department of Education and the Department of Public Health to bring rapid COVID-19 testing into all of our schools. The tests have arrived, our staff is trained, and we are ready to go. So when we return on January 11th, uh, we will be able to offer this to any of our staff or students who are feeling symptomatic while in school. However, I do want to remind folks that if you are feeling any symptoms, you should not come to school. This is if that you are at school and you start to come down with some symptoms. Uh, we also know that many folks may not have experienced this before and they may feel anxiety or stress about going forward with a test. So today, uh, I'm going to get tested. I've never been tested before. Uh, I haven't had to. Uh, and uh, we are going to show folks at home exactly what the process looks like. Um, and I will do my best to share with folks what it feels like after the fact uh, to help take a little anxiety out of the process. Should uh, you start feeling symptoms while at school or at work if you're a staff member and we have consent to move forward with the test. Do you have a minute? What's going on? You know, I was sitting in my office working on a big project for the school committee, and I started not to feel very good. Okay, what kind of symptoms are you having? Well, it, it kind of started like my stomach was kind of bugging me, and I get this like headache. I feel like warm, I think. I'm kind of like sweating a little bit. Okay. I really can't smell anything, but it might be the mask. I'm not really sure. Okay. Well, those are all symptoms of COVID. Uh, the symptoms just started. I never would have come to work if I was feeling like this. I know that we're not supposed to come in to school or work if we don't feel well. But so I came in and started working at my desk, you know, maybe a half hour ago, I started to feel like this and I thought I better come see you. Okay, yes, that is definitely the right thing to do. Would you be interested in having a rapid test done? Yeah, I, I mean, if you think it would be helpful, I, I certainly don't feel very good. They're really flu-like symptoms, so. Well, especially with losing your sense of, of smell, potentially, that is a, a very significant COVID symptom. So I, I would like to do it, if, if you don't mind. I just have a consent for you to sign. Yeah, sure. sure. You will still need to follow the protocol and have the PCR test done, regardless okay. of the results here today, okay. whether it's positive or negative. So basically, this just says that you agree to the testing and us notifying DPH of any positive results. Sure, absolutely. So first I'm just going to check your temperature. This is a non-contact and I just need to put this by your forehead. Okay, temperature is normal so that's good. Is this going to hurt? I've never had this done. It's... Is it like a shot? No. Okay. No, it's... There's... Um, a swab and it just goes towards the end of your nose, the lower part of your nose. And I do need to circle it around five times in each nostril. And then we will have our results. Oh wow, that it sounds takes, fast. It takes 15 minutes. Okay, are you ready for your test? Yes, what do I need to do? If you could just lower your mask down below your nose. Now keep your mouth covered. 
So this is going to feel a little bit funny. Mm. Okay. Mm. That wasn't that bad. Okay, and in 15 minutes, we will have our answer. The pink comes from the bottom, kind of pushes the blue line out of the way, and then you'll see either one blue line, or one pink line at control, or two, one at control and one at sample. Okay, so the results of your tests are negative. Like I said, you still would need to go and have a PCR test and get a doctor's note to return back to school. So once I have all that, you'll be set to return. Do you feel okay to drive home? Yeah, yeah, I just still, I feel yucky, but it's fine. Okay. I can, I'll actually make an appointment to see my doctor and, and follow up with the PCR test as you recommended. So I'll send that information over, but I'm still, yeah, I'm not feeling well, but I'm fine to drive. Okay. All right. So at this point, I'm going to have you leave the building since okay. we can't have you in the building feeling symptomatic. Sure. No, that makes sense. Well, I appreciate okay. all your help, Ms. Oh. Thank you so much. And I'm glad that, boy, that was, that was a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> it, it really is. <laughs> it was really simple. It's that simple. It's exactly what you saw. So if folks are feeling anxious about taking a rapid test. You don't need to. Um, exactly what Miss Young did to me is exactly how that scenario would play out. Uh, if you're in school, either a student in class or a staff member, and you start to feel symptoms while you're here. Remember, we shouldn't be here if you're, if you're feeling symptoms at home. But if you start to come down with symptoms while you're here, um, and with consent uh, from the staff member or with uh, parental consent from a student, uh, we can test you in any one of our nursing offices, just like Mrs. Young did uh, uh, to me. So very simple, um, quick, and will help, uh, help you get your results quicker and will help us with any contact tracing that we might need to do. One thing just to remind folks is that your, uh, the protocols that you have to follow, as you heard Ms. Young say at the end, don't change. They haven't changed as a result. You still have to get the follow-up PCR test uh, and take all the proper precautions uh, as outlined in our, in our protocols. But uh, the good news is you would have your results quicker and any contact tracing that we would need to do, we would able to uh, be able to start doing that sooner. Just one more reminder, the test is only for symptomatic individuals. It is not approved to be done for anyone who's asymptomatic or close contact looking to get a test. You have to be in the building and have symptoms.